I am Bruno Giffard. I am the director of the Giffard Company. Giffard is a family business which was created by my great-grandfather in 1885. He was some, someone who really loves what he was doing. And I think this is something he passed to us to gen generation to generation. We try to always keep the same taste you find in the nature, have it in the bottle. So the first step is choosing and getting the fruits of the plant. So we first uh, select the varietal. We usually buy them fresh when the crop is there, so from June to, to, to September. And e every fruit is frozen uh, to keep all these properties intact. Then we start by defreezing it slowly with alcohol. And the next step will be, depending on the berry, to crush it or not. For example, we'll crush the cherry, but we will not need to crush the raspberry because alcohol will go it slowly inside. Crushing the fruits is the first start before starting the macerating process. For maceration, we use different sizes of tanks. Our uh, policy since uh, now many years is to work with small batches. Uh, we, in a small batch, we realize that we control much more what's going on inside. We we'll have in those tanks the blend of alcohol and fruits. The alcohol will, will penetrate inside the berry. In the first day, it will extract the colors. Then slowly, it will extract the flavors, then more uh, secondary flavors. And we'll stop it when we feel that it starts to extract uh, bad taste. At that stage, the macerating process is over. With the juice, infusion is taking out of the tank, and we still have to press the fruit which is remaining at the bottom of the, tum, of the tank to take the juice out of it. Everything has to be gentle. Everything has to be without hurting the fruit. So time is very important. Infusing is one of the main uh, way we use to process. The other way would be distilling. We do alcoholic um, distillation. So we steep the fruits or plants in alcohol and distill with steam. Mint from Montpassy is another story. We grow the mint not far from Angers, in Chemillet. We, we have a field there. When you look at the mint leaves, uh, you see under the leaves some small bubbles. There is the essential oil. To, to extract it, we cut uh, the mint just before the flowers blooms. Just after, we, we, we distillate by steam. It's not an alcoholic distillation, it's just a steam distillation that enables us to separate the oil from the rest of the plant. And once we have extracted the flavor, then the last step would be blending, creating the, the recipe. So every recipe for us is secret. It's, we, we have it from father to, to, to son, uh, but we try always to, to make it better. The blend is, is adding the sugar, adding the other parts that we think is the best for, for, the, for the flavor. And, and after blending, filtration, resting because the liquor before bottling it to be round to have a, a full flavor and and then it goes into the bottle we offer uh, more than 50 different liquors uh, more than 70 different syrups we when we create a product we create it so uh, inside and but also the packaging should fit the the bartender need today we we, we are more and more international we sell in, in more than 70 countries and that is very interesting because we see uh, uses uh, culture which are different from what we have in Europe. And I think it's a continuous process, taking, taking ideas, mixing with uh, the culture we have in Europe. This brings us to bringing something new on the market.